Hi guys, welcome to this module in Microsoft Outlook. What we're going to look at in this session is how to use the quick steps feature and how to create a PST file. So first of all, quick steps. Here's the quick steps feature and I'm going to just drop this arrow down and click on new quick step and the option I'm going to choose is move to a folder. So basically you give this one a name so I'm going to call this scheduling and then I'm going to choose a folder for this to move to uh, scheduling and then click finish and then I've just had an email come in there I'll click on scheduling and it immediately moves it into scheduling so using quick steps although you haven't got much space to create too many is a very quick way to manage your emails and put them into folders that you've previously created so the scheduling folder was previously created and you can see it um, on the left hand side it's one of these folders down here so first off you create the folder then you can do the quick step so that was the use of quick steps to create a PST file slightly different I need to go file account settings account settings again and then data files you can see I've got quite a few here I'm going to click add and it's gone to the same location I'll call this test so you can see it and I can delete it later on so test and I click OK to test and then that should appear at the bottom like so we we'll close that down so I've created a PST file now I just have to find it down my left hand side looking for test and there's all the other ones I've got so basically what a PST file is is it's a mechanism to create some extra space and save email messages and folders uh, onto your C drive or onto a shared drive wherever but, and not take up your mailbox space so basically what I can do now in test if I just right click there I can go new folder and call it test1 New, new folder call it test 2 and so on and you basically create your folder structure as you would from your inbox but this is this particular one is sitting on my C drive so it does not affect my mailbox size now I'm not saying for a moment put this on your C drive it needs to go on a, a, a drive that's backed up by the network um, but it does give you scope for having um, a lot more emails stored in a folder list. So that's quick steps and a quick look at how to create PST files. That's the end of this session. Thank you very much.